focus a little. Good morning. All right. Oh, this is tipped. Sorry, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the But First Coffee Wake Up Call. I'm excited. I have my coffee in hand today. That's a first in a while. Repping my Detroit mug. Well, my husband's mugs, let's be clear on that. So good morning, everybody, and welcome. As you jump on, say hello. If you're watching the replay, thank you so much for joining us. I know sometimes it works a lot better to have the replay option, so I love that we have that available for a while. Uh, make sure you like, swipe, and share so that you like this post. Give me the hearts. Say good morning and uh, swipe it to share it, or if you're on Facebook Live, click share to tell everybody what you're doing this morning, starting your day on the right note. And make sure you follow me so that you know when I go live. I know most of the time it's 8.45 in the morning, 8.40, 8.45, and you can count on that, but some days I do something a little different in the afternoon too, so you don't wanna miss that, make sure you're following. Today we're talking about creating more time, getting more done, and enjoying more life. And good morning, I'm excited to see you, hi. First time, welcome. So every morning I do this scope. I do 8.45 a.m. It's a butt first coffee wake up call because when I start my day, I can have a whole to-do list, but first I have to have coffee. And with coffee, I feel like it's like a super drug some days. I have confidence that comes from that. I have excitement. I have this like awakening inside and I know that sometimes coffee isn't the greatest thing for our body and our system, but I absolutely love a warm cup of coffee in my hand in the morning. So I am here to share with you tips, motivation, inspiration, tricks about living a better and good life. And I work specifically with network marketing entrepreneurs in the beach body industry here in the US, but I share everything that's relatable to newer entrepreneurs in general. And really a lot of the stuff I share is about living your best life and learning that you can have zero excuses, kick those to the curb and learn how to live a better, happier, more fulfilling life. And I share bits and pieces of my story and where I am so you can get to know me. Um, but really my point in the wake up calls is to just get you what you need to start your day. Cause here in the US I know that it is just before 9 a.m. and everybody kind of gets off to work and then we get in the grind and we just get like lost in the shuffle and it's easier to have a better day if you start your day with something important, even just a few minutes of something that makes you feel good and feel like your dream life is possible and what you want is there for you and how to get it and all that great stuff to start your day on the right foot, it really matters. So today we're talking about creating more time um, getting more done and enjoying more life. So have you ever noticed how some days time just completely flies by? How like all of a sudden it's 12 o'clock and then it's three o'clock and then you're like, oh my gosh, I get done at five. Like, how is it already this late? And then there's other days that it like crawls by and it's so, 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 so hard. You like look at your clock expecting it to be noon and it's only like 9.30. And you have that event that you go to or like the family gathering thing that is just like so draining and it takes forever and the minutes are like so, so long and slow. So how does that happen? How do we have some days and some things that we participate in when the time just completely flies by and it goes so fast and then other times our time seems to just drag and like it just can't go any slower and no matter how bad we want it to go faster so there's one thing that i want you to understand about time that time is actually um i've learned this recently in this term of einstein time is really awesome because it really helps explain it because einstein came up with a theory of relativity and time is relative the example I just gave you is proof of that. Time is relative to every individual. Sometimes you'll talk to your coworker and you're telling them that like today is just dragging and it's going so slow and they're like, oh man, this day is going so fast. Time is a relative thing to you and that is because time comes from you. You create the time you have in your life. And I know sometimes this concept is a little hard to grab so I'll try to explain this as best I can. But it's about your mental state and your awareness and your mindfulness with the time that you have when you're trying really, really hard to like control time and it's really like controlled off into you. Sorry, Periscope. Got an alarm that came up to remind me to be on the call. So when you're like 
really focused and aware of every minute of time. For instance, when you're at like a family function or a party or something that you really don't want to be participating in, a conference at work, a meeting that you have to go to, something that you really want the time to go faster, you're really focused on those minutes and it's like really tight and you're holding onto it. And if you pay attention, you can actually feel that in your body somewhere. Everybody's different with where they feel it. But when you're trying to control the time and you want it to just go faster and you're trying to will it to just move and come on just pushing it's like dragging this 100 pound weight behind you and you're trying to just push things faster your mindfulness and your awareness is on how slow time is going and that's what you're focused on so if you're focused on that of course time is going to go slow like you're focused on time is moving slow. That is your thought. I want time to go faster. I need it to go faster. So time and your perspective and relative to you is going to go slower. The times that time goes really fast for us, that things go by very quickly are when we are totally kind of like open and spread out and participating in something. So when you're doing something that you absolutely love and the awareness that you have is not on you at all and it's not on time and it's really focused on being present and participating and being really just engrossed in the activity. Um, you know, uh, doing something that you love, like for me when I'm doing stuff for my business and for my work, when I'm coaching people, time goes by super fast. I'm always amazed at how much we can get done in an hour and how fast the time really goes. And that's kind of like an oxymoron. Like we cover a lot of stuff, but that hour goes by really fast. And it's because I'm not paying attention to the clock at all. I'm not counting every minute. I'm not constantly like, oh, we only have 43 minutes. Oh, we have 40 minutes. Oh, there's 37 minutes left. Like I'm so engrossed in being present and aware. It really takes the energy away from my core and from my center and opens me up and makes me more just like present, more mindful, more open-minded, more aware to what's going on and more involved in everything outside of how much time it's taking. So when you're doing things that you love, when you're spending time with your family around the holidays, think about how fast the holiday season goes. Like that in general is just, it's incredible how fast that like, you know, month between um, Thanksgiving and the, um, and Christmas and like New Year's here in the US, like that goes so fast. And it's because we're, we're trying to fit all of this amazing stuff in. And we're totally present with family when we're there and we're enjoying our, our time off and we're making memories with our nieces and nephews. And you're getting to spend time with your spouse and you're really able to kind of like let go of how much time it's taking and focus on being present with the activity and what's there and in that moment. Because time is so relative where you focus makes a difference. So I want you to do something for me. I challenge you today. As you drive home from work or you drive to an appointment or um, <clears throat> you're you know, running late to pick up the kids or you're going to drop them off somewhere, I challenge you to not look at the clock. To like, this is the process I go through when every time I'm driving from here to the other side of the state to visit family, it's like a three hour, two and a half, three hour drive, I get in the car and I look at the time and I tell myself, okay, I want to be to my dad's house or to my sister's house or to my mom's or wherever I'm going by this time, by like, you know, some of them leaving at four, I want it to be around seven. It's between 6.30 and seven is usually what I tell myself. If we're leaving at four, I want to be there between 6.30 and seven. And I don't look at the clock again. No matter what the traffic is, no matter what's going on, I completely understand and focused on the fact that I set my intention, I create how much time we have and how fast it moves for me and what needs to happen, and I just let it go. And I'm not stressed about like, oh my God, now we're gonna be late, now it's gonna take us like three hours instead of you know two and a half, and somebody's gonna have to go pee, and then I'm gonna have to stop, and it's gonna take me so much longer. But by letting myself let go, of trying to control time, of trying to get there faster, of trying to change how, much, how long it takes me to get there. I actually get there on time every time. I The past three times that I have driven across the state, I mean, it's Michigan, 
and it is orange barrel season. We have construction on every freaking highway and every back road that you're taking, and it should take me a lot longer based on that logic. But it doesn't. It hasn't. The past three times I've driven across the state, I set my intention for when I want to be there, and then I just go. And no matter what traffic I hit, no matter how many times and how long I'm stuck creeping at 10 miles an hour along 94 or 96, I get there with plenty of time and right when I said, between 6.30 and 7 every time or whatever happened to be that day. So I challenge you to do that today. As you have an appointment or you have something you're driving to today, look at the clock when you get in the car. Tell yourself when you're going to get, the, get there. I mean, be realistic. Don't tell yourself you're going to get there at like rocket speed. Be realistic, give yourself a time, and then let it go. And every time you get stuck in something, don't look at the clock. Take a breath, let go, stop trying to control time. Be present with the songs that are on the radio. I mean, rock out to your favorite band for a little while. Have a conversation with the kids that are in the back seat. Do something that has nothing to do with how long it's taking you to get there. And watch what happens. You're able to create more time in your day. You're able to enjoy being more present with your family. You're able to take that stress off and try, stop rushing. I mean, that's the worst part of the morning. When we're having a rough morning <clears throat> and I'm trying to get the kids to school and I'm like, okay, we have 15 minutes. Like we gotta go. The days that I tell them and I like count down, like put your shoes on, eat your breakfast. We gotta be out the door in 10 minutes, in four minutes, in three minutes. Like we have to get out the door now, let's go. Those days that I have those conversations with my kids, we're never out the door on time. But this week, I have made it my intention to be very present with the time that we have and to let go of time constraints and stop focusing on every single minute. And we have been early to school every day this week because I have let go of the time crunch that I feel like we have because time is relative to you. It is Einstein's time. It is not... Newtonian time. It is Einstein time. It is relative to you and what your mindfulness is focused on. So take that challenge today as you're driving to different appointments or different things that you have to be at. Look at the time when you get in the car, sure, but then let go of it. Stop focusing on it. Stop checking your watch. Stop telling yourself, I don't have time to do that. I can't do that. That's not going to fit in. Like, let go of time and stop blaming time for being this thing that you can't control because you create the time that you have in your day. And by understanding this concept, you can get a lot more done. You can stay focused <clears throat> in the tasks that you're doing every day. They're going to take less time than you think they will. They will be done a lot better. You'll be more productive if you let go of the minutes of the day, of the hours of the day. Make your mindfulness much more focused on the things that you're trying to be present with at the time. Let go of trying to control it. And because of that, it makes you enjoy life a lot more because you're getting rid of this time constraint that like you can feel it when you're late, you can feel it. It's typically like in your chest or in your gut. It's kind of like this, this tight clenching, like we got to go, like, come on. And it is not a good feeling. It's really not. So let go of it. Stop trying to control time. Change your awareness and mindfulness as it relates to the minutes and hours that you have and understand that you create that. You create how much time you have every single day. You can get a lot done if you want to. You can make it there on time if you let go of time, trying to control every minute of that drive to that appointment or to that destination. I mean, it's incredible when you change your mindset about how you look at this, how you look at the time that you have. Stop telling yourself this story that you don't have enough time, that there's not enough hours in the day, that you don't, that you can't get that done because it just isn't going to fit. Like, just let it happen. Like, know the things that you want to get done for the day and then let go of the time. And you'll be amazed at how different your energy is around the day, how much more you get done, how much more present you are, what you get to enjoy because you're stopping, stop yourself from looking at your watch every five minutes. Every 10 minutes stop looking at the watch <clears throat> excuse me so that's my challenge for you today wherever you're going don't pay attention to the clock this time trust that you will get there on time and that you can create more time if you need it and just go with it it's so incredible so that's my challenge for you today 
And if you are a newer entrepreneur, I would love it if you went to kellygreeno.com forward slash master the invite. So that's my username, kellygreeno.com forward slash master the invite, all one word. And it's a three day free challenge on inviting new people into your business, on breaking into that cold market because your warm market people are kind of tired of hearing you talk about your business. So you gotta expand and grow into people that don't really know you, but they need you. They need what you have to offer. So I talk about for three days, the basic things that you need to know to get more yeses, to break into that cold market, to really motivating people to say yes to you and connect to you and what you have to offer. So go grab that free three day challenge and enjoy it. And then do that challenge today and come back tomorrow and let me know how it went for you and what you noticed about your time today. With that, grab your coffee, have a fantastic day, be happy and do something cool every single day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for joining guys.